Well, how do you do, everybody? Welcome to baseball action. The new Trader Tribunes take on the Glenbrook North Spartans in the second of the conference series between the two schools. Glad to have you with us wherever you may be down the network line. Welcome to the game tonight. We're here at New Trier at Duke Childs Field today for this one. And we're all set to get on the way. Jack Fitzharris leads it off. Facing Dylan Hong, first pitch inning, a bunt right in the air, right back. The Hong, one up, one down, that quick. And Zachary Kim, the batter. And Kim is the actually the uh, starting pitcher for the Spartans. It takes a strike. Glad to have you on the network, wherever you may be. Baseball action. Yeah, strike. The Spartans beat the Trevians in the first game over at Northbrook. Ground ball. Second baseman in the air. And Kimba board. And Andrew Rubin, the batter. And a strike on the outside corner. Well, we can say this is uh, Jason Kipnis versus Charlie Tilson teams. Charlie Tilson graduated New Trier, and Jason Kipnis graduated of Glenbrook North. Here's a strike. Another way to put this is the is Ferris Bueller versus uh, Joel. Uh, I don't remember what his last name is from Risky Business. If they were real high school students, Ferris Bueller would be Glenbrook North and Joel would be New Trier. And caught by right fielder, throw to first, and they got him on a double play. Wow. Great heads up play by Stressler and throwing to first. So 9-3 on the double play, and there's one away, and Sam Zach's the batter. Yeah, first pitch is high for a ball, ball one. This is one of those spring days where if you're near the lake, you're freezing to death. If you're away from the lake, isn't too bad. Temperatures in the 60s, but near the lake, temperatures are in the 40s. And we are near the lake. Wind blowing in. Blowing right into the batter's face. And Zach's hit by the uh, pitch, and he's aboard. And Alex Calarco, the batter. The sun's out, though, so that takes a little bit of the bite off the off the cold. And, of course, this time of year now, it, it's a warmer sun because it's higher in the sky. So, Calarco bats. Throw to first, runner back. I think the thing about this year is obviously COVID has affected the players. They're not as sharp. They just there are things that that they missed learning with the year off. I mean, I guess that's about the best way I can describe what's been going on. I see it with everybody. I mean, it's not, you know, I'm not knocking anybody. It's just the nature of the beast. 
stolen base for Zach's. And a pitch low ball. And outside a ball. And high and tight, shaving haircut, two bits, and a walk issued to Calarco, so two on. And Ryan Casel, the batter. And the sacrifice going to work. Advance the runners. Throw to first and one away. Two in scoring position now in Lewis, Florida, the batter. Zach's at third. Calarco at second. One out. Clean up hitter, Florida. And yeah, strike, strike one. And ball two. Ground ball, that's going to be foul. And I think the count's blackjack, 21. Spartan outfield playing straight away. And I was wrong on the count. So strike three. And two down. And Charlie Brodell. Swing and a miss, straight. And yeah, straight. Well outside a ball. Low and inside a ball. Outside of you for a ball. Uh, Brodell. Bottom of the first inning. Glenbrook North, the newest member of the Central Suburban South. Ball four. Brodell draws the walk. Uh, in the flip flop between. Uh, Glenbrook North and Niles North. Niles North went into the Central Suburban North Division, and Glenbrook North came south. Bitch is low ball. Bases are loaded. 
and Graham Mastros, the batter. Foul ball back to the screen. Ground ball. That's through for the base hit. And two runs are going to score. Zaks and Calerco home to score. Brodell stops at second. And Andy Picard, the batter. Bottom of the first inning. I untied a bolt. And fall out of play, windshield whacker. Her first of the game today. Swing and a miss, straight. Throw out the second. Back in time. And straight three. So we're done with the first. But the Trevians do play two on one hit. And two left. A walk and a hit. Two walks and a hit batter. And then inning back to the top of the second. Jack Gaffney. Flies one out there, drops in for the base hit out in left center. A.J. puts it back into the infield. And a leadoff single, and Ryan Henschel, the batter. And fouled away. Spencer Geek on deck. And the pitch in there for strike. going to check it and they said no he didn't go and fly ball on the giddy up there, it's going to be a gapper, base of the fence. And Henschel into second with a double. And held the runner at third. Good thing, too. A heck of a throw from the cutoff man. I think that was uh, Calarco. He would have been dead to rights. Second and third. Spencer Geek, the batter. Kevin Geek on deck. Looks 
high and tight. Shave and haircut, two bits. Trevor in the outfield also playing straight away, like the Spartans outfield was. Is it straight? Well outside of both. Deuces. Time called. Spencer steps out and then steps back in. Ground ball bounces over the head of of uh, Picard at first. Yeah. I don't know if they scored that a hit or an error. I'm going to give that a hit because I don't think he touched it. And just count that as a stolen base. Four gate. Even though you could technically call that a, I mean, a mental miscue, but. In the classic sense, it's not an error. Low and away a ball. Now the look in and the pitch in a high pop up foul and caught. And the runner tags and moves on over to the third. So we've got runner at third. And Michael Shasanov. Shasanov, the batter. Pitches low ball. Ground ball right to the third baseman. Steps on the bag, but the run will come home, and the Spartans gain the lead, 3-2. to two. NJ got the batter. Number nine, the batting order for the Spartans. Follow the way. Slow little ground ball, and rule that one an error. Second error of the ball game for the Trevians. 55-footer, but the runner will hold.
and low and outside a ball. One uh, soft liner taken by Colarco for the out to end the inning. But three runs across on three hits. There was an error and one man left. And Bressler, ground ball, shortstop with a whoopsie. And, and Brendan Stressler aboard. Here's A.J. A.J. Steinbeck, throw the first runner back. High and outside, a ball. Don't the first runner back. And in their first strike. Again, the throw over to first, and again, the runner bang. And in their first strike. On the end outside the ball. And high and inside for a ball. To Steinbeck. Throw to first, runner back. Throw to first. And pitches high, runner took off, doesn't matter, ball four. And two aboard. Here's Sam Zacks. Zacks was hit by a pitch. Last inning. Came home to score. High and tight a ball, throw out the second, and a collision out there, but Stressler back safely. And a strike on the outside corner. Runners with their lead. Nobody out, and I do believe that's a wild pitch. Runners advance. And 
ministry. Fisted foul. Two in scoring position with nobody out. And ground ball, shortstop. And it throws to first. Gets the runner, but the tying run home to score. And Stressler and Alex Calarco, the batter. And a ball, ball one. Kind of a slow moving ball game today. I pop up down the line foul. Yeah, foul ball. Well, uh, in professional baseball, Dylan Cease went three for three in his only plate appearance as in the major leagues so far. Single by Alex Calarco brings home AJ. And the Trevians have taken the lead here four to three. Well, with his going, and that's a balk. And Calarco over to second. With the Cease going three for three, he broke a Chicago White Sox record that was held by a former new true student, a Nutri alum, Chuck Lindstrom. Lindstrom in his only major league appearance went two for two, including a triple. I was joking with the Chicago White Sox, uh, I how to describe him, statistical historian, who is also a new alum, by the way. Uh, line shot, right field, right fielder just waits and takes it for the out, tagging and Calarco to third. You know, that uh, Cease going, going three for three has broken charge. Uh, Chuck Lindstrom's record. Lindstrom was a very famous player in the early 1950s here at New Trier. Actually, nationally, he gained some recognition. Here's Lewis, Florida. He played only one game in the major leagues. And gave up baseball. Swing and a miss. Strength. Playing. He ended up as a coach for many, many years at uh, Lincoln College down in um, Lincoln, Illinois. A legend, really, in college sports. Pitch outside a ball. As a matter of fact, I think he's still alive. Last time I checked, I... Fall ball. Those are the wonderful little things, you know, that, that only I would... Runner at third, and Calarco, two out, and a pitch high ball. I guess I do that because I want 
the players who watch the games to realize, while this is the time of your life, it's also, there's a history here. So we're going to make strike three and drop third strike, but doesn't matter. Anyway, in the inning, two runs on one hit. An error, a walk, and one left. And we go to the third. And it's now 4-3 in favor of the Trevians. Zach Kim leads it on. Takes a strike. High bounder. Shortstop. Over to first for the out. You know, kind of dead poet society. Carpe diem sees your day. But remember, there were others before you who sees their day. High fly ball. AJ drifting back. Time back has it for the out at the warning track. Just before the fence. Two down. Jack Gaffney, the batter. Yeah, strike. Low and outside of all. Fifty-five footer outside the ball. I pop up foul territory. Mastros over, and I, he may have lost that one in the sun. Could have been, but it's an error. Third error of the ball game for the Trevians. They have more errors than hits and more runs than hits. They're leading four to three with only two hits. Fly ball. Taken by the right fielder for the end. And three up and three down for the Spartans. Here in the top of the third, and Charlie Brodell leads it off. Here in the bottom of the frame, Graham Mastros and Andy Picard do up. Foul ball. I can think of a couple of other major leaguers that I saw. You know, earlier in the game, I talked about uh, Jason Kipnis and Charlie Tilson, but you know, I can go back. Scott Sanderson uh, for Glenbrook North. Big pitcher. Ross Baumgarten, John Cristino, Mike Huff for Nutrig. Line shot, it's a base hit, single to left. 
for Brodell. And Graham Mastros, the batter. Over through it, outside of ball. Again, the throw to first and the runner back. So a little round ball. Oh, Bobble, they'll get the play at second, won't get the play at first. That's not an error. But it's simply a fielder's choice. Rodell out at second, and Mastros takes over at first base. And here's Sam Harvey. So we got a strength. Harvey batting for Picar. And a pitch high a ball. Throw to first, runner back. Swinging a miss, strike. And it's a little ground ball off the end of the bat. Second to first for the out, two away. And Brendan Stressler, the batter. In there for a strike, strike one. And behind the runner gets away. Runner advances up. Kim's delivery, foul ball. Ground ball. First baseman will take it himself. And that'll do it for the third inning. Neither team scored. It remains 4-3. Dutrier leading Glenbrook North as we go to the fourth inning. And Ryan Henschel will lead it off for the Spartans. Come on, guys. Let's get a little hustle into that. Okay, Erpman. Running a little backward. And 55 footer a ball. Line shot. And a base hit single to the left. 
for Henschel, and he's two for two on the day. And Spencer Geek, the batter. Here's straight. If I'm mispronouncing names, I apologize, but to be honest with you, uh, I don't like, I don't talk to coaches. You know, I get that, I get the roster and that is just about it. You know, light conversation, how are you, and that sort of thing, but I don't I don't ever try and get a any in depth conversation with a coach on either side. I mean, even as far as you know, players and that sort of thing at all. Fall tip held on. And Spencer Geek out with the strikeout. Here's Kevin Geek. It's sort of like the same thing with with statistics and the metrics that is now so hot in sports. I I don't follow them. I don't. It makes no sense to me. I don't care what the exit velocity is. I don't care what the release time is. I don't care how fast the fastball is. You're here to watch a baseball game, you know? You play a game, watch a game. Enjoy it. Don't worry about the numbers. Numbers don't play the game. Foul ball. Time called. Top of the fourth. Trevians with the lead by a run. Pitchers high a ball. And the count's gone full. Beautiful sunshiny day. Wind blowing in. And a high pop up coming back our way and just a little bit behind us. Not enough for me to flinch. Of course, I don't flinch anyway, even when it's coming right at me. Ball four. And Michael. Uh, Shaz, Shanaf, Shan, yep, sorry. Michael Shasanov, Sa I'm becoming more and more like Gary Carey all the time. Can't, can't pronounce names anymore. Shasanov. It's a ground ball short the first for the out. And then Jay got the batter. But uh, Shasanoff did his job moving the runner, runners to scoring position. Number nine in the batting order, NJ Gaunt takes a strike. And I do apologize to Michael there. And the entire family and the entire Glenbrook North group for mispronouncing that. Outside of all.
Very slow ball game today. Hot shot, fair ball right down the left field line. That's going to score two. And God on his way to second with the double. Yeah, back to the top of the batting order and Jack Fitzharris. And Glumbrook North has taken the lead here. Five to four. Ground ball foul. I think every team has been a hallmark of this season for everybody has been consistency. That's strike. You know, the Evanston series was a perfect example of that for Nutrier. But it was also a perfect example of that for Evanston. You know, one game you're cruising along, and then you give up six runs or something like that. Strike three. And that completes the inning. In the inning, two runs on two hits. A wonk and one left. Go to the bottom half of the fourth inning. And A.J. Steinbeck leads it off. But, I mean, um, you know, you make four errors in an inning, whatever. You come back the following day and, Nearly a slaughter rule game. That's a ball. Bounces in. You know, one day you're pitching spot on, and the other day you're pitching isn't. Base running's off. They... You know, mental errors that uh, don't really show on the, you know, on the score card, scorebook. You know, you, you you see them, you go, why did they do that? Strike three. And one away. I mean, I, it's everybody. Everybody's got that. And, I, and you know, I mentioned it earlier in the ball game. I think that's probably the result of, of the pandemic. You know, they basically missed the whole high school season, the soft liner for the out, two down. And Alex Calarco, the batter. It, again, I don't want it to sound like I'm knocking specific players here or, or whatever. I'm just commenting on the general feeling of what the season's been like this year. Uh, and it's true for everybody. You know, everybody's having these issues. You know, I think at least for some of these players, just being having had the p pandemic, you know, just being out here and being able to play is enough, not having the commitment. You know, for at least some of these players, they've 
been off for two years, basically. Or there was a gap there for two years. Um, a gap in their learning. They might have played some games, but I think there was a gap in, in some of the learning. Foul ball. Alex Kalarko, the batter. And ball four. I think it also proves the notion of the idea that the only way to get better is to play games. Uh, quote unquote, play games against better competition, whatever, get noticed. I mean, that whole thing has been blown out of the water, I think, by, by this. And how this season is progressing. And another wild pitch. New pitcher on the mound, by the way, for the Spartans. Matthew Spencer has replaced Kim, Zach Kim. And Ryan Kasel. Aboard via the hit batter. That's the third hit batter today for Spartan pitchers of hit Trevians. Here's a strike. I was just realizing that I was I was thinking back to that 2011 game between uh, Nutria and Glenbrook South, and there were a bunch of highly regarded players on those teams, and everybody was getting hit, and there was some retaliation within that game. Outside of all. Ended up costing Lumbrick South the ball game, actually. Swing and a miss, strike three. And four out on the strikeout. And we played four. And it's 5-4, Glenbrook North. Here's Zach Kim. There's Drake. Outside of all. And a pitch high ball. High pop up, foul. And hits the top of the dugout of the Spartans. And lands under their bus here in the parking lot. Line shot. Oh, sensational catch by Zax. Sam Zax with a great tumbling catch out there for out number one. Here's Andrew Rubin. So we're going to be a strike. Let the bat fly, but fortunately the screen in the way before anybody got hurt. Pitches high ball because there's nobody over there anyway because it's been blocked off. 
because of the COVID. That's high ball. And that one's going to drop in for the base hit single. Yeah, to center. So one out single for Ruben and Jack Gaffney, the batter. Go to first runner back. Hong's gone the distance. Pitch on the wing. Foul the wing. Straight. Low and outside of all. Strike three. And two down. Here's Ryan Henschel. He's had a day for himself today. Betting here in the fifth. And the second and the fourth. Base hits, a double and a single. Stole a base and has scored two runs. Yeah, 55-footer gets away. Stolen base. And a bump. And straight. Foul ball back. Throw back to second. Just to keep the runner honest. And another one gets away. And strike three. Batter and the coach didn't like that one. They thought it was high and outside. But it is what the ump says it is. No runs, a hit. Man left. 
go to the bottom half of the fifth inning, and Charlie Brodell leads it off. Swing and a miss, straight. Matt Spencer gets his sign. And the pitch low ball. Swing and a miss strike. And strike three. One away. And Graham Mastros, the batter. And the ball inside. David haircut two bits, high and tight a ball. Had him back in a week. Now, yeah, ball. I pop up, got everybody giving chase, and center fielder calls everybody off, takes for the out. Two up, two down, and Sam Harvey, the batter. And put low ball. So I got a bit straight. I pop up. Pitcher calls for it and he has it for the out, and it would have been out anyway because of Sam Harvey running into the pitcher for interference, and Coach Drevlin is none too pleased with Harvey for that. Anyway, we go to the sixth inning, and Spencer Geek leads it on. And a fly ball. Right at Zach, sort of. Takes it for the out. One away. Here's Kevin Geek. Low and outside a ball. Ground ball. Third baseman. Over to first. Mastros to Picar on the return. Picar back in the ball game. Two up, two down. Michael Shasanov, the batter. High and outside a ball. In there for straight. And 
did go. Strike three and the inning over. Three up, three down for the Spartans in the top of the sixth. No runs, no hits, no errors, nobody left. Go to the bottom half of the frame, and Brendan Stressler will lead it off. Stressler, Steinbeck, and Zach stew up. And Stressler hit by the pitch. A little question about that. But they said, yeah, he got hit. Ali Barkel, the batter, uh, uh, the pinch runner. A.J. Steinbeck, the batter. Throw to first. Barkel back. And a button attempt, foul ball. AJ with those two beautiful bunts uh, against Evanston. Proved he could do it competently. Travian's chasing a run here. And again, AJ tries for it, falls it off, and down in the hole, still shows bunt. Pulls it back, and a high pop-up foul, and nope, not going to get to it. Again, showing the bunt, pulls it back, and gets hit by the pitch. So, we got two on. And Sam Zach's the batter. Two on, nobody out. Top of the sixth. So we're going to be a strike. Time called. And a pitch low ball. And the one away, a ball. Keeping the runner on his pitch outside of ball. Zach's batting. Ball gets away. Runners advance and thrown out to center field. So that's an error, and that'll allow a run to come home to tie the ball game up at five. As Bressler home 
on the throwing error. I don't know why he was throwing out the, the second. Didn't make sense. Again, that's those types of mental things that have been going on all year long for everybody. Ground ball. It's a little roller. And they got Zach's. No, you're out on the tag, buddy. A.J. over to third, so Steinbeck representing the lead run at third. And Alex Galarco. Alex has only one official at bat, but he's been on base all three times he's been up there. They always pitch very, very carefully, reputation being what it is. And a hot shot foul. Rip that one foul. And a ball outside. So we're all tied up in the bottom of the sixth inning at five. And pitch low ball. Another new pitcher out there. Yeah, strike. I think it's Jack Gaffney is pitching. And ball four. And runners at the quarters for new trick. One out. Ryan Casel, the batter. Low and outside a ball. Throw the first runner back. Now straight. And outside the ball. Throw the first runner back. And got the job done with a high fly ball out to left. Taken for the out, A.J. Steinbeck tags and comes home with the lead run. And New Trier now leads it 6-5 to five here at the bottom of the sixth. And P.J. Nilk, the batter, batting for Lewis, Florida. And he got hit by the pitch. He didn't. Didn't know it or didn't know what he was supposed to do. I'm not sure which. So two aboard, two out. And Charlie Brodell swinging away a strike. And a pitch high a ball. It's 
So I got a red strike. And fly ball. On the giddy up and a great catch by the left fielder for the out. And we go to the seventh. With the Trevians now in the lead, six runs for the team. They scored two here in this inning on no hits. Three hit batters and a walk. And Jack Mastros now on the pitch. Fly ball. Steinbeck drifts in, takes it for the out, one away. Back to the top of the batting order, Jack Fitzharris has got, flies out to Steinbeck. And a pitch high, a ball. And ground ball. Short stop. To first, not in time. Infield single, beat it out. And Zach Kim, the batter. That's a ball inside. High and tight, a ball. And a strike. Throw to first. Run the back. Our next scheduled game on the network is uh, Highland Park. Throw out to second on the stolen base and way wide. Doesn't matter. Stolen base. Now the delivery, that's in the dirt of ball. Boy, this is going to be a weird box score on this one. High pop-up. Fly ball out there, and Sam Zacks has it for the out. Runner tags and moves on over to third. And Andrew Rubin, the batter. And first pitch hitting a little pop-up. Second baseman has it for the out. And the ball game is all over. Final word on this one for the new Trier Trevian. Six runs on three hits. Three errors for the Trevians. They were struck out five times, walked five times, seven left on base, and one, uh, two, three, four, four hit batters. And three of them came home to score for new Trier. So they were hit four times, and three of them came out. 
For the Glenbrook North Spartans, five runs on seven hits, two errors. They were struck out five times. Trevian pitchers only walked one, four left on base, and four stolen bases for the Spartans. Well, that'll do it for us for this game. Donuts for our next baseball game, which is New Trier versus Highland Park, weather permitting. And for all of us here at the network, we say as always, thanks for watching and so long, everybody. This has been a Metro Chicago Sports Network copyrighted presentation, all rights reserved.